Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dentist, a general dental practitioner perhaps, a dental therapist, or anyone for that matter, about the childhood fevers, the exanthematous fevers, the so-called acute specific fevers. Things like mumps and measles and German measles and diphtheria and chicken pox and whooping cough. And I put them all in here because in each case some sort of oral manifestation or facial presentation will be seen by us or will be picked up by us. And therefore you should know something about them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their incubation period. The prodromal symptoms, those are the symptoms that come on before the actual illness. Whether or not there is a rash, and what you would see in the mouth column, which is the most important thing for us. And whether or not they are protected by vaccine, vaccination program. So let's go very slowly through them. German measles is a viral illness and is spread by droplet infection, by sneezing and by coughing. And because it's a viral illness, it has a long incubation period. So a couple of weeks of incubation period and you'll be right. And patients develop fever and generalized lymphadenopathy, enlargement of the draining lymph nodes. It hasn't got much of an oral manifestation. So we pass it over, except to say that there is a rash a rash very much like the rash of measles, but is a fine macular papillar rash. And unlike the rash of measles which persists, this one clears up real quick. Three to four days. German measles, of course, is important, as you recall, if a pregnant woman has rubella, because there are serious consequences affecting the fetus if the pregnant woman has German measles. Things like cataract deafness, encephalitis, etc. And therefore there is a vaccination program for young ladies leaving school because of chance of getting pregnant. German measles is protected by vaccine. Vaccination program introduced by the National Health Service in United Kingdom in 1988. The mumps, measles, rubella vaccine. The first jab is given at 13 months and a booster just before kids go to school. 